Did You Know video series from the National Cancer Institute, Brain and Other Nervous System Cancers. Did you know that there were over 152,000 people living with brain and other nervous system cancers in the United States in 2013? The nervous system includes the brain, spinal cord, and nerves in the rest of the body. The brain controls many important body functions, and the spinal cord connects the brain to the nerves. These cancers occur in the brain, the cranial nerves, the spinal cord, and other nerve tissue. Tumors that start in the brain or nervous system are called primary tumors. Tumors that start in another part of the body, such as the breast, lung, or colon, and spread to the brain and nervous system are called metastatic tumors. Brain and other nervous system tumors cause problems when they grow into or press on nearby nervous tissues. These tumors may be either benign, meaning not cancerous, or malignant, meaning cancerous. Both types of tumors may cause symptoms and need treatment. When properly treated, benign tumors can have a good prognosis. The prognosis for malignant tumors depends on tumor type and grade. This video is only about cancerous tumors that begin in the brain, spinal cord, cranial nerves, or other nerves in the body. Different types of brain and other nervous system tumors can occur in both adults and children. The three most common types of brain and other nervous system cancers in children are malignant pilocytic astrocytoma, medulloblastoma, and malignant glioma, and they make up 56% of all childhood brain cancer cases. In adults, these three types make up only 8% of cases. A different type of tumor called glioblastoma causes 56% of adult brain and other nervous system cancers, but only 5% of childhood cases. Even when tumors of the same type occur in children and adults, they can have very different symptoms and outcomes. Out of every 100 children diagnosed with brain and other nervous system cancers, about 74 will still be alive five years after diagnosis. Out of every 100 adults diagnosed with brain and other nervous system cancers, about 27 will be alive five years after diagnosis. The difference in survival between adults and children is partly due to differences in cancer biology, including the type of tumor they are diagnosed with. Because survival statistics are based on large numbers of people, they cannot be used to predict what will happen to an individual patient. Brain and other nervous system cancers are slightly more common in men than in women. These types of cancers are diagnosed most often in whites, followed by Hispanics, Blacks, Asian and Pacific Islanders, and American Indians and Alaska Natives. Anything that increases your chance of developing a disease is called a risk factor. Risk factors for brain and other nervous system cancers include exposure to radiation from high-dose x-rays and from other sources, and having certain genetic syndromes such as von Hippel-Lindau disease or tuberous sclerosis. Talk with your doctor about reducing your risk. The symptoms of brain and other nervous system tumors are not the same in every person. Some brain tumor symptoms include morning headaches, seizures, nausea and vomiting, vision, hearing, and speech problems, trouble balancing or walking, changes in personality, mood, and focus, memory problems, and numbness or tingling in limbs. If you have been diagnosed with brain or nervous system cancer, visit cancer.gov slash clinical trials to learn about clinical trial treatment options. Talk with your doctor to make a decision that is right for you. For more information on brain and nervous system cancers, go to cancer.gov or call 1-800-4-CANCER. For more cancer statistics, go to seer.cancer.gov.